Hello team. Good morning. I'm Naman Adil Alpadeen. Today we are discussing about action rules, particularly extraction of action rules and association action rules. When it comes to extraction of action rules, um, action rule is an object transition from one state to another in an information system. And uh, it is divided into two parts. One is rule-based and one is object-based. In a rule base, it is important to have classification rules create the extraction. For example, uh, we can take an example of three basic steps here. And when it comes to object based, they are directly taken from the database, um, which is an example from a priori. And when it comes to association action rules. Association action rules are if there are statements that helps to show the probability of relationship between data items within large data sets in various types of databases. Association rule has a number of applications and is widely used to help discover says correlations in transactional data or medical data sets. Particularly uh, in data science. Association rules are used to find correlations and co-occurrences between data sets. They are ideally used to explain patterns in data from seemingly independent information repositories, such as relational databases and transactional databases. The act of using association rules is sometimes referred to as association rule mining or mining associations also. We can, like, uh, we can use them in medicine, retail, user experience, and entertainment also. Association rule at a basic level involves the use of machine learning algorithms, models to analyze data for patterns or co occurrences in a database. It, it identifies frequent if then associations, which themselves are the association rules. An association is mainly consists of two parts, which um, they are like they are antecedent, um, that is like a statement and a consequent, that is a then statement. An antecedent is an item within the data. A consequent is an item found in combination with an antecedent. The strength of a given association rule is measured by mainly two parameters, one is support and another one is confidence. Support refers to have often a given rule appears in the database being mined. Confidence refers to the amount of times a given rule turns out to be true in practice. A rule may show strong correlation in a data set because it appears very often but may occur far less when it applies. Uh, this we can take it as a case of high support but low confidence. The popular algorithm that we use in association rule is a priori algorithm. In data mining, association rules are useful for analyzing and predicting customer behavior. They play an important role in customer analytics and market basket analysis, product clustering, and catalog design. We can take an example of, uh, we can take an example for association rule um, between the relationship between the milk and bread. For example, if a person go to, uh, uh, if a person go to a supermarket, when he, uh, he buys milk, he will buy he will buy bread also. An association actually uh, by uh, in calculations we can say that here you can see a one when a is an attribute and a on a two are values of a. Here you can see if a one equal to a two, then a is table on a. A attribute A1, A2, and A2, A3, A4 are values of uh, A. 
here we can see a1 a2 uh, value increase when a3 a4 also as same as uh, a1 a2 decreases a3 a4 also association rule election set we can see here uh, number of similarities like candidate action say uh, when it comes to a number of atomic actions and action set is a candidate action set which does not contain two atomic actions uh, referring as the same attribute as we have seen that uh, before example same like uh, candidate action set but not action set from b b data set and when it comes to action term it's a transaction of atomic actions uh, to form an action set and in the creation of uh, number of sets we can say here and also uh, if you want to calculate information systems uh, that is from three values like x a b here we can see the as we discussed we can see support and corners here support of r equal to a minimum of uh, we have uh, conjunctions of two one is y1 intersection z1 and uh, y2 intersection z2 we can take minimum of them as support when it comes to confidence we can take y1 intersection z1 by y1 into y2 intersection z2 by y2 we can take it as a confidence and uh, yeah that's all thank you